In the village of Oskil, Kharkiv region, Russian troops fired on a psychoneurological orphanage. The ward and staff were in the shelter at the time of the shell fire, so there are no victims. However, the orphanage after a shell and fire was ruined completely. No heat, electricity, water supply. Before the war, it was the best institution of a kind in the Kharkiv region. Also, in the village, five houses were destroyed. In general, the region and Kharkiv itself have been suffering from shelling by the enemy army for 16 days in a row. The mayor asked locals to go down to the subway and bomb shelters. Kharkiv residents will be provided with warm clothes, medicines and food. The city of Mariupol remains one of the hottest spots in Ukraine. Another video of the Russians providing the so-called Ruski Mir has been published online. The genocide is what the Russian army led by Putin did against the people of Mariupol, claimed Mayor Vadim Boychenko. ДСНС. Каждые 30 минут в город Мариуполь заходила авиация. Работала пожилым массивом, убивая мирное население. Стариков, женщин, детей. В этом сегодня величие русской армии. 400,000 Mariupol residents remain almost captives of the occupiers. Every day they are waiting for a humanitarian corridor which in fact does not exist, because the Russian army continues to fire. Meanwhile, the woman in this photo, which went viral around, became a mother. Two days ago, she was evacuated from a maternity hospital bombed by the occupiers. The next day, Marianne gave birth to a baby girl. Travel blogger, director and host of the popular show Orel Ireshka, Yevhen Sinelnikov, reported that his young son and he managed to leave Bucha. This is a city near Kyiv which is now completely filled with Russian troops. For more than a week, Yevhen was held captive by the occupiers. These two days, of course, was a real Aviation, the artillery, the blogger, who has traveled the world and loves to look out the car window, was forced to close his young son's eyes this time. Впервые в жизни мы ехали по зеленому коридору через бучу и густом, или я казал ему заплющу очи, потому что это просто, это даже для дорослой психики дуже важко. Сгорели дома. Прям багато поверхівки повністю згоріли, розруйновано все. Тіла лежачі. Євген talks about his experiences with tears in his eyes and thanks Ukrainians who support each other, no matter how difficult it may be. Turn off Russian TV channels. Stop propaganda. The Ukrainian media community addressed the European Commission with such an appeal. We ask you to impose sanctions on all Russian TV channels. Because the so-called journalists there justify the war in Ukraine and hide the real scale of their army's actions and the scale of the destruction it inflicts. Currently, the Ukrainian marathon, United News, is broadcast in most Ukrainian TV channels, where information is provided, particularly in English. Please be cautious with what you hear in the media and trust only official, verified sources of information. Russia attacks not only physically. It has been waging an information war against the world and peace for a long time. Зона свободной торговли с Европой это прямая сдача страны, ее разорение. В подгузниках 44 человека. 
небритых, пьяных, с теми же самыми шевронами. Every day millions of people listen to and read the outright lies of Russian journalists about Nazis in Ukraine, bloodthirsty Europe and envious America. Самый неэффективный альянс, который можно себе только представить. Putin's propagandist stage fake news stories defacing the main rule of journalism, honesty. Это первая из нашей страны колонна с гуманитарной помощью мирному населению Украины. Ребята, как будто надо, блядь, пожрать от оккупантов. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the amount of Russian propaganda has grown to 90% worldwide. The aim of Kremlin mouthpieces is to spread panic, justify the war and undermine the world's attitude to Ukraine. Могут погибнуть мирные люди. Сейчас в Херсонской области ряд населенных пунктов перешел под контроль очень вежливых людей. The worst thing is that while the whole civilized world refuses to cooperate with Russia, Russian media are still broadcasting in Europe. The world must know the truth. It has only one interpretation. And Russian TV channels show the opposite. Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины проекта по изучению переноса патогенов дикими птицами. Turn off Russian propaganda. Say no to fakes and war.